and today we're looking at arguably the most loved car in south africa i swear you can't say anything wrong about this car else people will fetch you obviously i'm talking about the polo gti I want to say this before we get into the review. I don't think the issue around the Polo GTI is about the speed or how fast it can go. The one thing most people are questioning is the price and what you're getting back for that price. In this day and age, we have a lot of competitors in South Africa and it's hard to continue selling the same thing you've been selling for a while when someone on your side is selling the same thing for less. Anyway, let's get into the video. I made a post earlier about brand loyalty and this car really is the true definition of that. You know, I've seen people switch from BMW to Mercedes or Audi to Mercedes. I've seen people switch from Toyota Hilux to Ranger. Although there are people who've switched from the Polo GTI to maybe the i30N or the 128Ti. But the VW Polo still holds the majority of South Africans' hearts. I mean, we can't blame them. Look at the two previous models that they gave us. I don't know about you, but this still looks amazing to this day. But enough about that. Let's focus on the car of interest. First of all, performance. I won't say much about this car because there's literally thousands of reviews on YouTube regarding it. But I'm gonna pinpoint what I think is important. This particular model, well, there's only one variant of the Polo GTI and it comes with a 2.0 litre 4 cylinder engine which can put out 147 kilowatts of power and 320 newton meters of torque. So basically that means it can go from 0 to 100 in 6.4 seconds. If you have no idea and wish to know what kilowatts or torque means, I have a video which I'll link below. I've done a simple explanation of basically what that means when it comes to cars. This is a 6-speed dual-clutch DSG which only pulls the front wheels and from that you can make up a top speed of 238 km per hour. For anyone who doesn't know what those numbers mean, basically it means the car is not a slouch. Obviously it's not groundbreaking speed but for the compact car it is, much is offered for it and that's a plus. Also to mention, the car comes with a 3-year service plan, that's 45,000 and 120,000 kilometers warranty plan, also three years. And that's one of the points people bring up when talking about a Polo. 585,000 price tag paired with a three-year warranty and service plan. Now that's out of the way, let's talk about the looks. I don't think I have to say anything there, just look at it. I should mention though, unfortunately, that the rims are not standard. Neither is the sunroof nor the rear view camera, nor some of the technology features that you might need from the car. But actually, the exterior is very beautiful. I mean, look at those 10 signals. The IQ lights also come as standard on the Polo GTI. Now coming into the interior, basically this is just the Polo. The only difference where you'll notice is that this comes with standard leather seats. The dashboard design has some color to it. Everything else is really just a normal Polo. And maybe a difference in that you can select drive modes. But honestly, overall, I feel like this car is amazing. I will mention one thing though. The materials on the door panels for 585,000, I expect better, I'm not gonna lie. So I wanted to see if it's different from the Polo I have, which is a DSG comfort line variant from 2018. But basically, everything is the same when it comes to the door panels. Too much plastic to be comfortable with. There is fairly decent space at the back for any passengers that you might carry. Also something to note that this has a lower boot capacity than the rest of the line. It has 305 liters of boot space compared to the normal 351 liters that comes with the other variants down the line. Now let's say you would like to buy this car. Well, this particular one is 585,000 rands. Check in a 10% deposit at an interest rate of 11.75 and over 72 months, you're looking at around 10,200. Add fuel for maybe 2k a month. I promise you will be more because you have one of the most fun cars to drive. But for the purpose of this example, let's make it 2000. 
add insurance for around 2000 as well then your total cost comes around 14k with that being said what do you think is the price worth it is it worth paying around 14,000 for polo gti i don't know some people will say yes some people will say they pay less but obviously you have to mess around with residuals and deposits for that to happen anyway that was it hope you enjoyed the video tell me what you think about this car below for me i totally love it i don't think there's anything wrong about this car except its price and what it comes with everything else is amazing but that was it thank you for watching this far catch you all in the next one